Hello and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today I'm going to talk about a stock called RSI. Before I do that, I'm going to talk about the Amazon video I made last week. And that, that week I was saying the stock is going to hit 125. And it looked like the stock is going toward the drawings that I had for you guys at that moment. If you haven't checked out checked out that video, you can check it out. As I said, you know, there are four phases in a stock when it moves up. And I'm on a, usually on a daily chart, so I'm not doing like a 30-minute or a five-minute um, chart because I don't do day trading. I do swing trading, which means as I identify these patterns and I invest in them. And then once it reaches a value that I'm trying to get to, I sell my stock. And, of course, I have a stop loss as well ahead of time. So if there's a, st you know, if the stock falls, for example, I will come out of the position without any issues. Now, the stop losses are very important because this is what I call cost of business. Every time, think of this um, investment as a business. So it, you got to have cost of business, right? So a lot of people don't realize that, but they put the money in there. They forget about it. They're like, you know what? It's going to go up. Stock goes down. They're still in the position and they end up, you know, putting their $5,000, $10,000, $15,000 is stuck in the stocks because they didn't put their stop losses accordingly. So always put your stop losses. Think of them as um, cost of business. If you come out of the position right away because your stop loss was too too close to the you know um, the peaks that I was hitting in the bottom, that's fine. You can come back to it later again. But let's talk about the Amazon that we talked about, right? So this, these were my drawings, and I said it's going to hit 125. It's going to consolidate, and then it's going to decline again. Looks like it's coming up beautifully. Now, I'm not sure whether it's going to hit 125. Again, this is all probability, and again, this is all uh, pattern uh, trading. So, you know, it, there is potential that it, the, the candle that it closed, it closed full candle without any wick, which means there is still potential for the Amazon stock to go up. The reason is because they are having this, um, you know, uh, prime day coming up and potential of the stock is going to, you know, there's a lot of potential on the stock to go up. So this is for the Amazon stock. If you haven't checked out the video, you can check out the detailed video I talk about. Let's talk about the new stock that I'm talking about today. This is RSI. It's called uh, Rush Street Interactive. Now, with this stock, this stock is hovering around $5.15, and $5.15, and this is I want to catch early, so this is what I'm looking at right now. So, let's draw it up as we do usually. So, this is right here is what I called uh, your accumulation, okay, which is nothing but, uh, in other words, they call it consolidation. This is consolidation right here. Now, after consolidation, what happens is, let me mark this red. After consolidation, you have a markup, okay? And markup is where you got to, uh, you know, get in and, and figure out where your stop loss is going to be. Okay, so this is going to be your markup, okay? What I think the markup is going to be, I believe the markup can potentially go up to the, the resistance that I've drew, okay? Let me draw the resistance right here, okay? So now it could either stop right here. So it could hit $5.46, and if it crosses $5.46, it can potentially go to six dollars and eight cents at that point right now if it goes to six dollar and eight cents uh let me highlight that green as well now if it hit six dollars and ten cents of course you know i'm thinking that it could it could potentially do some cost consolidation right here which is called distribution usually that is referred to as profit taking as well uh, so i would think that you know this could be probably distribution right here and after that let me color that red so it's easier to see all right, and after that, we can see the the ultimate decline on the stock, okay? And we could probably see the stock come back down. Uh, maybe, you know, potentially it could go, go down all the way down, or it could go down, you know, this is probably going to be a red. I mean, pro you see this one, you know, you could just maybe light green, maybe a lot of, not a lot of volume here. And maybe this potentially red. So this is what I'm looking, and I think this is right here. Let me text this right here, decline. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Let me also color this red. One moment. Okay, here we go. Now, the reason I think this is this is toward the markup is because if you look at the RSI, it's above 60. Anything above 50, it's basically the, the stock is picking up. So potentially everything goes above 70, which means the stock is overbought. Everything Anything below 30 means the stock is oversold. MACD is also coming out, and it looks like it's going to take off from here. Let me just zoom in. Uh, a little bit right here you see this is coming out it could potentially in the histogram you see the histogram started turning green histogram usually turns small and then it turns big for example in this case it came down the histogram was small and then as it coming down the histogram histogram was bigger and bigger and then it started coming out to small and small right so this right here it's a small histogram and probably we can see an example from previous days is a small histogram 
The price fluctuating is trying to go on up. The histogram getting bigger. This is a moving average conversions, diversions. So now I think the stock is definitely going to have a markup. So definitely take the stock, put it on your watch list. This is again a daily chart. Every candle represents a day. So on Monday, you'll see one candle created. Tuesday, maybe another one. Thursday. Now it doesn't have to play out the way I drew it up. Just to uh, go back to Amazon example for a minute. I drew up a pretty big candle right here. But if you see the momentum was, you know, there are small candles every day. Now it's getting to the point where I, was trying, where I was trying to get to. All I'm saying is this. This is what I think the play is for me, right? I'm going to get in. I'm going to have my stop losses, you know, wherever I think is comfortable for me, 5%, 10% of my value. That's my going to be stop loss. Stop loss, I determine right beforehand I get into the trade because I don't, you know, I don't get into the trade and wish for everything to go up or wish that, you know, or hope that everything is going to be good. No, I put my stop losses. If I come out of the position right away and I lost 500 or 300 or $300, for example, in that position, uh, for me, that's cost of business. Because when I make the money, um, I will be covering that losses as well. So think of it from that perspective. So anyway, so these are the candles. These are the daily charts. And I think this is how the flow is going to be for this momentum right here. On and on a monthly chart, the stock was at around $26. And on a weekly chart, these are the levels that I, I come from the weekly, monthly, weekly to daily levels. And these are the levels that I see that uh, it potentially can hit. This is a very hard one. Like this is definitely going to have, you know, some of the pricing gets declined right here. This is a soft one. So I'm hoping that this will cross. But anyway, so, you know, look at the stock, add it to your watch list. If you see it, if you're comfortable wait, waiting and waiting for it to cross for 545, then you already know there's a you know, 65 cents gain right there. So hopefully, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And, um, you know, if you're not subscribed, do consider subscribing. The objective is to get you guys information early so you could be on a lookout for the stock. Talk to you guys in the next video.